So today we'll be doing a P3, P4 revision, all right, on things like what? Things like whole numbers again, yes. Then, yes, work problems again. Please understand that work problems is so super important because when you reach primary six, right? When you reach primary six, right? The entire paper, I think, got about 85% all problem sums one. So you better love your problem sums, Ken. All right, and problem sums actually no problems lah. All right, if you can understand it, you can actually draw model. You can even draw diagram to assist you to better understand the question and then you should be able to follow step by step in order to get the answer. All right, but once again, your P3, P4 foundation, all right, the foundation must be very strong. So your model diagram, if your model diagram is strong, all right, P5 and P6 will not be a problem. Okay, keep practicing, don't give up. Okay, so here, you need to have your what? Okay, you need to have your notebook, your exercise book, all right? And worksheet, actually no more worksheet, right? You know it, right? No more worksheet. You are supposed to go into the computer aided assessment and attempt the questions. Remember that? Yeah, but I checked already. Many of you never go to your computer aided assessment to what? To attempt those questions that I tell you to. That's the reason why we are doing it right here. Can? All right, and, and don't worry about the class notes, all right, because last lesson, right, I heard that some of you complaining, oh, yeah, I cannot print and all this, and the printing, right, is set to, right, colored printing and all this, cannot print the black and white, don't worry about it, all right, this time, let me explain a little bit about the printing procedure, all right, so later you will see that, so don't, don't worry about this worksheet and so on, all right, if you want to print this out, don't worry, later I tell you how to do it, okay? Okay, then please have your stationery and obviously your attention and focus. All right, just now I was telling the class that we'll be attempting a question, all right, but you will be the one mainly doing it. Okay, I want you to try doing the question. So the next question, right, when it flash out, right, I will say that you will have two minutes. All right, so the next question, you will have two minutes and I will time you. So within these two minutes, you try to attempt the question. Once you get the answer, right, can you please key your answer into the chat? All right, it's chat, right? C-H-A-T. Some of you never use the function, but look for the chat, C-H-A-T, and you can actually chat directly to me. All right, so it is already set in such a way that you will be provide me, providing me with the final answer. Then I will tell you whether your answer is correct or wrong. Hello, Nikki. Hi. All right, so are you ready? Get ready, uh, your pen, your pencil, and your paper. No calculator. Don't play cheat. All right, so the first question, uh, question one will be two minutes. I'll be timing you. Uh. So here goes. Starting now. Okay, that means time's up already, all right? You cannot see anything. Yes, that was two minutes. Many of you gave me the answer, right? Students like Celine, uh, Isaac, uh, uh, K 
Caden, Victoria. Yeah, a lot of them give me the answer. And the answer is actually 40. And many of them are trying very hard. Even though they got it wrong, they are still trying. That's the next step in mathematics. All right. So you must understand that oh, not only must you be precise in your answer, you must also, yes, work against time. You must also like put yourself, okay, this question is like that. Maybe let's finish in two minutes, something like that. All right. So you must work within the time frame. That is very important. Yes. Answer is 40, Branson. Good job. All right. Here is how the working is being shown. So the next few questions will be like that. All right. So let's go and take a look at question one. All right. Answer is 40. Correct, Victoria. You're right. All right. So now let's go through together. My advice to you, yes, sell this 40. All right. My advice to you is to draw model for this. Very simple. Trust me. The cost of three blouse and two skirts is 140. Okay. The first piece of information I given to me. The second piece of information is more important. This is the time where I have to draw my model. All right. This is the time where I have to draw my model. A skirt is twice a blouse. What's the meaning of the skirt? Skirt huh? is twice the blouse. All right. It means that the skirt is more expensive. All right. More expensive twice means what? Twice actually means two times. Uh, at heart, yes. Answer is 14. Net Keith, answer is 40. Very good. All right. So the skirt is twice. I'm going to draw two units like this. Can you see? All right. Twice means two units. The blouse means one unit. So this is the what? This is the model for one skirt and one blouse. Is that true? Hey, but sure, they are looking for three blouse. Oh, okay, if three blouse, let me draw another blouse, cannot? Sure. Let me draw another another blouse. Why? Because question say got three blouse, right? So I draw three blouse like this, law. Cannot. Can. And how many skirt? Question say got two skirt. So let me draw another skirt. Another skirt down here. Can you see now? And the skirt is consists of two units like this. Can you see? So in a way, this is something called stacking method. You keep stacking up. All right. So, 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 what is the clue that links everything together? The question say what? The total of three blouse and two skirt is 140. So that's like the total. Okay. So this is like the total. Eh, sure. Very simple. Correct. How simple it is? You have to count. Count how many units are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the total units, right? So seven units down here, it represents the what? Total always compared with total. That is called fairness. All right, math is all about fairness. You have to be fair. Okay, so one unit will be always look for the one. You will take 140 divided by seven and your answer will be $20. Is that okay? Hey, but that's not the answer. Look at the question. Look at the question. They are looking for a skirt. A skirt is how many units? A skirt consists of two units. So you have to find two units. And therefore, show your working uh, 2 times $20, that will give you $40. Very good. All right, many of you got it. Simple question like this? Yes, correct. All right, so my advice to you, if you don't know, draw model. You have to learn to calm yourself down a little bit. All right, draw the model. Don't have to use ruler and pencil. All right, just draw nicely for, your, for you to understand. That would be great. Can? Okay. Uh, another method. Can I show you another method? Can I challenge you to understand this method? Can? Okay. What if they say the cost of 20 blouse and 15 skirt? <gasps> sure. Have to draw 20 of the units. Ah. Have to draw 15 of the units. Ah. Then how? Then that would be a problem, right? It would be time consuming and you're not using your what, time wisely. Can you see not? So don't worry. If you can learn this another method, I think it's faster. Can? So here, what is the basic information again? You have skirt and you have what? Blouse. All right. This is another method. I think it is faster. All right. So as we know, a skirt costs twice as much as a blouse. So I still draw like that. I still draw like that. Don't worry. All right. I still draw like that. A little bit of model to please my teacher. All right. My teacher loves model. <laughs> All right. So the skirt is twice the blouse. So this drawing, okay, right? Okay. Then look, how many blouse do you buy? She bought three blouse. What do you do? Three blouse, right? Do you want to draw three? Don't draw three. What do you do? Down here, you purposely put times three. Oh, if it's 10 blouse, put times 10. If it's 100, just put times 100. Nothing to fear. All right, number is big. It's okay. I can handle. How many skirt did she buy? She bought two skirt. All right, here is one skirt. Down here, I purposely put times two. Can you see not? If down there, they say six skirt, do what? Times six. Seven skirt times seven. Can you see not? So now she only buy two skirts. So times two, lor. can. And as you can see right down here, what do you have? You have two units down here times two equal to 
four units. Can you see? Here you got one unit times three. You got one times three, three units. And you look for something called the what? The total. All right? The total is what? Four plus three will give you a seven units. Oh, yeah. So don't have to draw all the model. Lah. Don't have to use stacking method. Lah. Yala, yala, yala. So this is an easier and faster way. If the numbers get very big, can you see not? So total seven units you can compare with the other one. The total, which is 140. Oh, yeah. Then it's back to just now that steps ready. Yes. Then it goes back to just now that steps ready. All right. So down here, you save time in terms of what? Not drawing all the blouse or the skirt. All right. You just consolidate them together, right? The uh, times two or times three. I think that's faster. All right. And down here is still two units. And answer is 20 times two. Answer is still $40. Can you see or not? All right. So if you can open yourself to this idea, I think it's good. Can? All right. Very good. All right. So next, uh, next question. Uh, question two. Uh, question two, two minutes. Are you ready? All right. So students, right, you're supposed to take your paper, pencil, all right, and start to do the working and key in the answer onto the chat. All right. Some of you say, wait, is it? All right. I saw some of your, your pumps up like that. All right. And Nish Ashrek, uh, Matthews. All right. Wait means you want to copy this, is it? All right, if you want to copy this, uh, take a quick second to copy this. All right, then I will go on to the next question. Question two is, two minutes, uh, you have to try first. You try. All right, then the final answer, you key into the chat. I will tell you whether are you correct or not. All right, and of course, I will chat. Uh, I, will, I will type it up with you. Okay, uh, for some of the students, right, you are doing very fast. All right, so I might be uh, typing a little bit slower. Old people, uh, old people, we type slower. Uh, give chance, uh, all right? And these two minutes, I will not talk. Can? All right, uh, so I'm going to move on to question two already. All right, ready? Going? Okay, okay, uh, question two. Uh, for students who are still copying, don't worry about this, all right? As I say, this recording, right, is already recorded, right? It will be placed in our website for you to view again, all right? So don't worry about that. So you can go back to it anytime, okay? All right, so question two, uh, two minutes, let's go. Okay, that means two minutes already. Wow, you're not fair. Got two parts of the question, two minutes. Actually, it's quite straightforward. All right. Again, draw your model and you have to work fast. You have to work fast. Can do it in two minutes. Right? Train yourself. All right. So simple question like that, you must train yourself to finish within two minutes, right? Bigger question, you will have more time. Trust me on that. All right. Some of you got the answer already. Uh, Julia? Answer is 2068. It's a little bit too big already. <laughs> I think something wrong. All right. Um... Estelle, yes, you got correct. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Ed Hart, you got correct. Victoria, you got correct for A. That's good, that's good. 
And Shanice, uh, A is correct, good, but B is wrong. All right, Ch uh, try again. And niche, 146 is incorrect. Please try again. Okay, come. So this is my turn. All right, this is my turn. So now you listen. For those who got it incorrect, let's check this question together. All right. So Jenny had 134 bits. Wow, they give me Jenny. That's good. That's good. Victoria, 603. Very good. You got it. You got it. All right. Good, got, good, good, good job, girl. All right. So uh, Jenny uh, had twice as many bits as Siva. The she, who does the she refer to? The she refer to Jenny. La. Jenny had twice. Uh. Twice means what? Oh, uh, Jenny has twice means, twice means what? Two times uh, like that. All right. Jenny has twice. As many bits as Siva. All right, Siva. All right, twice means like that. Lor. Oh, so simple. Uh. Eh, I also know that Jenny is what? Jenny is 134. That means down here is 134. Lor. Correct or not? Correct, correct. Eh, question is asking how many bits did Siva had? Isn't that very easy? Siva only got one unit, what? Right. So here we know that Jenny, right, got two units. Two units represents what? One, three, four bits. Can you see not? How to find one unit? So part A of the question is very simple. All right. Nobody should get this wrong. All right. Nobody should get this wrong. But if you get it wrong, maybe because you're careless here and there, understand. Be careful in your calculation. I say before, plus minus times divide cannot make mistakes. Kelvin, correct. Both answers is very good. All right, so 2 times 6 is a 12. You have a 14 here. 2 times 7 is a 14. Answer is a 0. So 67, what? 67 is the bits. That is for what? That is for SIVA. That is your part A answer. How come? Because SIVA only got one unit, what? Can you see? Okay, now Jamaica, 67 is correct. Good job. Anish, 67 is correct. All right. Uh, okay, so now let's talk about B. Let's talk about B. Okay, so part B, uh, what do you have? A. Hey, uh, there's another line. Mary had a little lamb. Sorry, sorry. Mary has three times as many bits as Jenny. Mary has three times as many bits as Jenny. So Jenny is how much? Jenny is this portion here. Can you see that? This white color. So this is Jenny. Uh. This white color is Jenny. The whole of Jenny is this white color. Mary le? Mary got three times of Jenny. Le. That means Mary got like that one time. Two time and three time. Can you see not? This is Mary. And, and remember, inside one white box, uh, inside one white box, uh, inside one white box got two what? Uh, two yellow boxes. Can you see not? Inside one white box got two yellow boxes. That means Mary got what? How many units? Mary got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey, question is looking for what? All together, all together got how many units? Ah? All together you count. Lah. Down here got one unit, two unit, three unit, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, all together means nine units. No? Just find your nine units we'll do. Okay? So nine units you can take 67 bits times nine. 67 bits times nine and you can do your calculation. 67 times nine is? Alright, uh, three here, six. 54, 60. 603. Can you see not? And that is your answer for part B. Is it okay? Yes, Shani. 603 is correct. Good. All right, very good. All right, so again, I don't know, draw your model. All right, once the model is drawn out very nicely, you can see. Can you see not? So remember, one white box is Jenny. So Mary got three times, means Jenny got three sets of these white boxes. And remember, one white box got two yellow units inside one. So again, can you see not? Use color to assist you if you can. All right, then you see things very clearly. One, how do you get sixty-seven bits? Um, uh, I take Juby, I take one three four divided by two law. Because uh, because we are comparing uh first thing uh Jenny and Siva, Jenny is twice Siva. Right? So if Jenny is twice means she got two units. Siva only got one unit, and the question say that Jenny has hundred and thirty-four bits. So two of Jenny right is one three four. Cut into half, 134 divided by 2 is 67. Oh, why? Leh? You get that, Juby? Can not? Can? Can you try to get 67? Huh? All right, very good. Yeah, some of you understood at heart. Good, good job. So, can you see not? Within two minutes, can do or not? It's possible. Train yourself, do faster. You can do it one. All right, and all this working. All right, and all this working. You see? Cannot make mistakes. I, I said before already. Plus, minus, times, divide, no mistakes at all. Is it okay? All right, so next question. Uh, question three, are you ready? Question three, two minutes only. Uh, two minutes, are you ready? All right, question three. Uh, let's go.
Okay, time's up. All right, uh, Jimmy Ka, answer is $72. You are right. All right, the reason why I never answer you is because at that moment, a lot of students, they send in their answer. So as I say, right, I may be a little bit slow in uh, keying in. All right, please be patient with me. Ken? All right, Jimmy Ka, okay? All right, Benson, correct. Again, sending two. Very good. Uh, Juby, uh, let's try this question together, Ken. All right, you must get it. Uh. You must get it. Sell this, right? Sending two is correct. So let's try this question together. All right. Yes, Anish got it. Okay, Elsa, let it go. Let it go. Hoo -hoo. Sorry, Elsa has $8. Dave has five times as much money as Elsa. Okay, so this statement down here, what does it mean? All right. It means that they've got more. La. They've got five times. La. It means that what? Five times means five units. All right. Five times means five units. One, two, three, four, five. And Elsa? La. Elsa only got one unit. Can you see it? Not? So the orange color circle, right? They say that Dave has five times as much money as Elsa. It means that they've got one, two, three, four, five. And Elsa only got one unit. So this is your model. Okay, let's look at the next question. Eh, sorry, not the next question. The next part, right? Now I'm going to draw in a white color. Huh? Ford. Ford has what? <gasps> Ford has twice as much as Dave. Ah. Wow. That means what? This is Dave. Hey, look here. Look here. Look here. This whole thing is Dave. Ah. Can you see? This whole thing is Dave. The white color. And the person Ford, right? I can draw on top. Has twice, you know. Twice means what? Double of Dave, right? Like that. So like that is one time another time can you see that oh this is twice of dave so dave now becomes the one white color box ah. ford got twice of it so now you have to cut 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 them into what the same size can you see that so one white color box got five orange color so down here i cut one two three four five one white color box got five ah. one two three four Five. Can you see that? And this will be my model. Nice? Not bad, right? Never use pen, never use ruler some more. Like. So down here, Elsa got $8. Hey, that means down here is the $8. Hey, this is Elsa, $8. That means one unit is $8. Very good. Let's take a look at the question. Let's take a look at the question together. Come. Question say, how much more does Ford have than Elsa? How much more? When you see the word much more means what? You have to minus. It's not a plus, huh? All right, when you see the word much more. So is it true that Ford got more than Elsa? Yes, how much more? So Ford got how many units? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Elsa only got one. So 10 minus one is what? Nine units. So we know that what? We know that Ford has, all right, Ford has nine units more than Elsa. Can you see that? Okay. So, one unit is $8. So, nine units will be what? Very easy, or sure. I know. Nine units will be nine times 72. Oh, sorry, sorry, nine times eight <laughs> to give you 72. I think too fast already. Can you see that? So, that is the faster way of doing. Uh, some people say that. Uh, some people say, I don't want. I want to do what? I want to find Ford first. Okay, can. Because Ford got 10 units, right? Then you say Ford. Lah. Okay, Ford got 10 units. All right, so you can say 10 times 8 is $80. Okay, so Ford got $80. Elsa got what? Elsa got $8. Okay, then I have to minus. All right, because how much more? Right? So 80 minus 8. Is it $72? Yes, it's correct. You. But can you see not? I think that this way is better. All right, I think that this way is better. How come? Because immediately you find the number of units, you find the gap you do. All right. Oh, some of you got extra method to do. That's good. That's good. Ultimately, you can get $72. That is good enough. All right. So, I will recommend you P3 and P4, right, to try to what? To draw model. All right. Because model drawing, right, is very clear cut. All right. You can compare the total. You can compare the gap. You can compare individual and all this. All right. So, understood? Can? All right. There's always another way more. All right. There's many, many other ways. All right, ultimately, your working makes sense and you give the correct answer, your teacher will mark it correct. Okay? Are you ready for question four? Question four also another two more minutes. Huh? All right, question four is another two more minutes. So are we ready? Let's go.
Okay, time's up again. And Victoria, 210 for part B is very correct. Good job. All right, so now I can see that you're getting better, Victoria. All right, because last time I think, right, you started off with a question that you don't know, but I can see that, eh, slowly, slowly, this is our question. You can do it already. Good job. All right, Victoria, good job for you. Uh, the rest, yes, B is 210. Good job, good job. All right, all is correct. All right, so now let's go through. All right, uh, one of you uh, say what is wrong, is it? I think your answer is two, two something. 2A0. 2A0 is incorrect. Let's take a look at this. Branson, you got correct. I think she got correct. All right, so let's take a look at question four. We need a poo. Hey, we need a poo. Hey, oh, sorry. Do they in the mood of singing? La. Hey, y'all. We need bought 490 pieces of ribbons, okay? So that's the total ribbons. This is the total. Then let's take a look at the clue. She bought twice as many yellow as pink. Okay, do that first. Yellow and pink. Yellow and pink. She bought twice as many yellow. So the yellow got two units. Can you see not? Uh, no, I say we need a pool. Hey, Selin, I'm singing song. It's we need the pool. It's not we need to pool. Naughty girl, you. you. But very smart, lah. Uh, from my words, you can uh, assume other things. It's we need the pool. We need the pool. Okay, so sorry. So she bought twice as many yellow as pink. So yellow got two units. Pink only got one unit. So this is the model. Juby, yes, correct. All right, answer is 210. Very good, Juby. All right, you got both answers correct already. So now, this is the model for yellow and pink, right? Okay, then you read on. And twice as many green as yellow. Oh, that means the green is twice of yellow. Ah. Okay, the green is twice of yellow. Ah. So yellow is like that. Ah. Yellow is like that. This whole thing is yellow, right? This whole thing is yellow. So the green, right? The green is twice of yellow. So the green is like that. It's twice like that. Can you see not? Oh, yeah. And inside one green box got how many yellow? Inside one green box got two yellow. Inside one green box got two yellow. Can you see not? So you purposely make the size the same. All right. So the total is what? Eh, the total is 490. Eh, sure, easy one. I know, I know. So total, you must compare with total. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can say that seven units represents what? 490 ribbons. All right, so total you compare with total. Count one unit. Always look for the one. How? 490 must divide by seven to give you a 70 what? Ribbons. Uh, sure, don't have to show working out. Yeah, how come? Because I know. All right, so 49 divided by seven, I know what? 49 divided by seven is a seven. The zero just put it back very fast. All right, so you can do use a mental sum. Use your mental sum. It's okay. All right, so 70 ribbons is what? Is one unit. Hey, 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 wait, wait. Question is looking for is the question looking for one unit? How many pieces of pink? Oh, pink is what? Pink is one unit, what? So pink is 70 ribbons. Oh? Can you see not? Because pink is only one unit. This is for part A. Sure, so easy. I, I know, I know, I know. All right. In the exam, surely got easy question. Why? Imagine everything is difficult. Then what happened? Huh? Then your teacher mark, mark, mark wrong. Ah. Hey, I tell you, oh, your teacher do not like to mark crosses. You know why not? Because crosses is like that. Crosses is two stroke. Two stroke means what? Waste ink. La. If you mark correct, eh, correct means like that. Correct means like that. Correct means like that. Correct means like that. Wow, you are actually saving the planet. How come? Because your teacher will be using lesser ink. Hey, your teacher, you talk a lot of crap. La. Okay, sorry, sorry. So down here, please try to get more correct. All right? Get more correct so that your teacher will save the planet also by marking like that. Can you see not? So get more correct. La. Can do it one. Okay, so part B. How many more? Green than pink did Winnie buys. All right. How many more green than pink? Is it true that she bought more green? Yes. All right. She bought four units of green. And pink, she bought one unit. But how many more is the three units? So down here, immediately find three units. It will be faster. Three units is equal to what? 70 times three. Lo? Answer is 210 more ribbons. All right. 210 more green ribbons. Can you see? And that's how you do it. All right. But some of you always have this thinking. All right. Some of you always have this thinking. Think what? Uh, okay. Go and find green first. Green is how many units? Four units. So you can find four units of green. Then four units is what? Uh, four times 70 is 280. Then you go and find what? How many pink? Pink is what? Pink is 70 already, right? Okay. Then you take 280 minus 70. Answer is 210. Can you see or not? Can you do that? Can you can do that? But my advice to you is immediately P 
pinpoint to the exact number of units you want to find and find it one time. Don't have to what? Plus again, then minus again. Ah, yeah. Do so many steps or what? Can you see or not? So in terms of the units, the green got four units. The pink got one unit. How many more? How many more? Can you see? Right, got three more. What? All right, got three more. So just find the three units will do. Lo. So one unit is 70. Three units will be 210. All right, and that's the answer. Very good. That's the reason why some people can do faster. They can save a little bit of time. So you must learn that also. Can? Uh, Sellies, you come in to wait, wait, uh, wait already. Uh, enough waiting? Uh, wait some more? <laughs> okay, question five is the last question for the primary three. Primary three uh, revision, all right? Primary, uh, question five will be the P3 question, huh? Ready? Okay, all right, this one you got two minutes. Okay, huh? so question five, two minutes, huh? let's go now. Okay, time's up again. Estelle, you're right. 20 is correct. Branson, 15 hours is wrong. All right, we got hours. <laughs> 15 each. <laughs> All right, uh, Mo, I think 15 is wrong also. Answer is 20. Can we go through this together? Yes, Jamaica, 20 is correct. Jamaica, Lau, good job. All right, so down here, right, what we have? We have bean uh, and seed uh, and tree. Wow, how come all the what? All the plants related one. All right, uh, Niraja is 20 is correct. Yes, very good. All right, so bean has $5 more than seed. What do you do? Draw model. Help yourself. All right. So down here, we have bean. Has $5 more than seed. All right. So you draw what? This is a unit. All right. And this is a unit. Hey, but here, if you draw like that, means that they are the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So bean must have what? Bean must have $5 more than seed. So I purposely draw another circle. And I put the $5 inside. Can you see it now? All right, so my white color, right? The units is the same size. The circle yellow color five dollar. Why do I put a circle? Because I know the value. I know that is five dollars more. All right, so five is a value, it's a number. So I purposely draw something different. Can you see? All right, so is it true that bean has five dollar more than seed? Yes, it's still correct. What my drawing? Can you see? Then what happened? Tree. There's another person called tree. Tree has twice as much money as bean. Okay, how much did bean has? Bean has this amount. Right? Look here, look here. This is the amount that Bean has. This is the amount that Bean has. Three got twice. Huh? Three means the, you know, the, the three on top. All right, so this is one time. All right, this is another time. All right. And look at the pattern. Look at the pattern. Inside Bean, huh? inside the one green box, right? there's one white. There's one white here. There's one white. Huh? All right, there's one white. Huh? And what? 
there is the extra yellow five dollars. Can you see that? Inside bin, uh, one green is one white and one five dollar. So one white and one five dollar. You have to be fair. Can you see? And the total is given. Yes. The total, right, the whole thing here is what? $75. Can you see? So this is my model. Nice or not? Question is asking for bin. How much did bin have? So what you do? I guess many of you did this. All right, let me guess. Huh? Let me guess. Many of you did this. Because the, there is a white color is the same size. 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 That's good. That's good. How many extra $5 are there? There is one $5 here. There's one five dollars here and there's one five dollars here. So you will tend to get rid of the five dollars, correct or not? So how many five dollars are there? There are three pieces of five dollars. So three times five dollars will give you fifteen dollars. So this fifteen dollars is the extra. Let's get rid of the extra. You take seventy-five dollars minus of the extra fifteen dollars. Mental sum sixty dollars. Is that true? All right, so $60 belongs to what? $60 belongs to the white color units. How many? One, two, three, four. Four white color units is equal to your $60. All right, because the yellow color is the 555, that one is already counted already. So the remaining must be the white color, what? correct? Not? If not, then nothing really. What? So one unit will be what? One unit will be you simply take 60, divide by four to give you a $15. Okay. What's the question? How much does Bean have? Eh, Bean got one white and one five dollars. Can you see not? So Bean, uh, Bean, uh, Bean got one white, which is the fifteen dollars, and the five dollars. Five dollars is the what? Yellow color five dollars, and that's how you get the what? That's how you get the answer of one green, which is twenty dollars. Can you see the color coding? Beautiful, right? Can. All right. So next, if you did another way, that's good. That's good. Ultimately, you get the answer. Good. Let me. Show you another way, students. All right, let me show you another way, students. All right, yeah, they're looking for bin, so you don't write three. Ah, huh? there's another way. Last time I taught you this already, the previous lesson I taught you this already. I told you, right, instead of minusing, instead of removing, you purposely add back. Try this method, let me three. All right, I know that you don't like you always want to minus out, but try this method. All right, instead of lessing out, you add back. It will be faster. Look at this. Huh? Look at this. Okay, so now you make a comparison. Look at bean. Bean got one white and one five dollars. Look at tree. Tree got one white, one five dollar, one white, one five dollar. Is that true? Okay. Hey, look at seed. Seed only got one white. Ayah. How come not the same? So what you do? You kind of plus in the extra five dollars. So seed don't have the five dollars. So I purposely plus in this dotted. Can you see that? I purposely plus in this dotted five dollars, right? I purposely add it in, ah, uh, this dotted five dollar, because he doesn't have. So I do what? I take my total seventy five. This seventy five, right, doesn't include the dotted five dollars, ah. Uh, so I must add it in. So I add in the dotted five dollars. Can you see now? So if I add in the dotted five dollars, what happened? It becomes a what? Eighty dollars. Okay. So you plus instead. So now, $80 is what? Look, uh, look uh, $80 represents the how many green? So one green represents what? One green represents one white and the $5. Can you see not? Right. So now they are all the same size. How many green do we have? We have one green here. Right. We have one green here. We have two green here. Three green here. And four green here. Can you see not? So total got four green. Uh. So $80, right? I purposely divide by four. To give me one green. One green is what? One green is $20. Is it true that we are looking for bean? Bean is what? Isn't bean one green? Huh? Isn't bean one green? Yes. So answer it. Lah. You compare the number of steps. Look, children, compare this and this. So many steps, right? Yes. Next if you did it this way, good. All right. So can you see not? There are different ways to get to answer. So, don't always have this thinking, must minus, must minus. Sometimes you plus back, it will be faster. Can you see that? Alright? But again, that will determine what? That will look at the, you have to look at what the question is looking for. So, question is looking for bin. That's why I plus back, it will be faster. Can you see? Alright? But if the question is looking for seed, then maybe you say that you want to minus, yes. Then that will be faster. So, so don't worry about all this. 
just have this idea that there's another method available. Be open to it. Right? You have to be a little bit more open to all these uh, other ways of doing. All right? Then in future, you'll be able to see the, the benefit from it. Trust me on that. Is that okay? All right. So that is for your primary three topics. Huh? All right. Primary three questions. Uh, the next portion will be actually a break. All right. A break time. All right. So uh, during the break, right, you can go for a break for two minutes. So the two minutes started already. If you want to go for the break, all right, there's one student just now, right, didn't manage to copy question one. So now I'm going to back to question one to allow that student to copy. All right. So yeah, two minutes. Huh? Okay. This is for question one. All right. Okay, so now it's a break for two minutes. All right, 30 seconds has passed. You still got one minute and 30 more seconds. Okay, this is for question one. Got one student just now uh, wanted to look at this question again. So go for it. After the, uh, after the one minute and 15 seconds, all right, we will be going to the primary four question, grouping in sets. Okay, so we learn how to group things together. All right, so from now on, right, the, the, the way the lesson will be conducted will be in this way. Right, because I need you to practice, really. I give your homework the CAA, none of you practice. Okay, maybe not none, there's a few of them who practice. Right, but many of you say, oh, yeah, I got no time, school reopened already, got school homework. I totally understand. That's the reason why we are doing this now. All right, so force you to practice a little bit. Can? All right, math, you have to practice one. Listening is one thing, doing is another thing. All right, you still got 45 seconds. So this is for question one. Okay, we'll start off with. Question one, I mean the next question one, right? Okay, done? Okay, very good. Okay, huh? okay uh, we will start off with the next question one for the P4 one in the last time. All right. Okay, 15 more seconds. And next question, question one is two minutes. All right, the next question is two minutes. Get ready. Very simple one, promise. Okay, and the two minutes break is over. Okay, come. So the next question, all right, all right, for those who just came back from your toilet break, all right, the next question is two minutes. Are you ready? Get ready, your pencil, your paper, are ready. Huh? So two minutes, let's go. Oh, two minutes has passed. All right. Some of you give me different answers, right? Maybe you never see this out question before P3, but it's okay. It's good to learn it now. All right. So when you go out to P4, hey, this question I got seen before. Yes, I got learned before. And when you know that, right? Hey, you manage to get an answer, you feel even better. All right. Jamaica answer is not it. It's okay. Come. All right. But you're close. All right. Jamaica, you're close. All right. Answer the first part is actually it. 
right? But there's another step after that, right? Anish answer is not 23. Let me show you how to do it. Come, listen. So this is our question, right? What do I do again? I like to write more. Answer is not 10. All right, let's look at this question together. What do I do? I like to draw again. Okay, come. For every set of newspaper Jason delivered, May Singh delivered five sets. Can you see not? We're talking about newspaper here. Victoria is not, all right? It's not nine. Let me show it to you. Come, just listen to me first, okay? So for every set of new newspaper Jason delivered, May Singh delivered five. Means what? So it means that if Jason, right, delivered these four sets, all right, this is by Jason, huh? four newspaper. I like to draw. So drawing actually calms myself down a bit. So if Jason delivered four, May Singh must deliver what? Must deliver five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, May Singh, I think it's a girl. Girl power. All right. Can you see? So this is like what? This is like the, the drawing. Eh, what if, right? What if Jason delivered another four? Oh, so if Jason delivered another four newspaper, what happened? May Singh must deliver another five. Girl power. Can you see that? So this is the idea. This is the idea. All right, so actually I can have this drawing in my head or you can just draw it out. All right, just to calm yourself down. Okay, tell yourself the story what's happening. So for every four sets of newspaper by Jason, May Singh got five sets. For every four sets of newspaper by Jason, May Singh delivered five sets. Can you understand? Not? Okay, so this is what I call one group. One group. All right. This is called uh, what I call one group. This is also called another one group. Can you see not? So in every single one group, right? In every single group, right? There are four newspaper by Jason and five by Mason. Is that okay? Eh? The total for one group. What's the total for one group? Right? The total is what? Total for one group is oh, Jason delivered four, Mason delivered five. So total is what? Nine sets of what? Newspaper. Down here, what's the total? Eh, the total is also the same. Uh, Jason delivered four, May Singh delivered five. So can you see or not? Every group, right? Every group will have nine. More, not 32 is correct. Good job. Good job, Anish. 32 is correct. Good job. Yes, you got it. I'm much more happier that, uh, than, than you. Can you see or not? Because you are getting to know it. Yes, Victoria also. Good job. Can you see or not? So once you got this part, all right, what do you do? Ah, you say, eh, total, right? Total, they delivered what? Total, they delivered 72 sets of new paper. All right. And how many groups are we talking? One group got nine sets. Uh. One group got nine sets of newspaper. So 72 sets of newspaper divide by nine sets. All right. So you should be asking yourself, inside 72, how many nines are there? All right. 24 is wrong. Uh. Try again, please. Uh, I had 32 is correct. So inside your 72, how many nine are there? All right. Inside your 72, how many nine are there? So total, there will be what? Eight nines. Eight nine means what? There are eight groups. So I believe some of the students, I think Juby, Juby, you got up to here, right? Eight groups. Right? But you don't know what's the meaning of this thing. You don't know what's the meaning of eight. Hopefully, you can understand what's the meaning of eight now. Okay? All right. So it's actually eight groups of these. Huh? One group consists of what? Four Jason, five May Singh. Another group, four Jason, five May Singh. Can you see that? So eight groups got what? They're looking for how many sets did Jason deliver? Jason, uh, one group uh, got four Jason. Can you see that? Uh, newspaper by Jason. Uh, huh? So eight groups, eh? The last step is eight times four. All right, that's why I say to some of you, you short of one step here. 32 sets is by Jason. Can you see that? Uh? Can you fully understand the question or uh? not? All right, if you can write, it's actually, wow, the feeling is very good because you totally understand. Can? All right, so if you can work in terms of groups, all right, Jamaica, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, so okay, huh? okay huh? some of you got to the eight groups. Now it's to execute to get to the last step. You're getting there. Very good. Good job. All right, Re ready? Question two? All right, for P4, there's five questions also. So P4, there's five questions. So question two, huh? ready? Question two is two marks also. Ready? Ready? Ready, huh? let's go. Question two, let's go.
Okay, time's up. Uh, Kelvin and uh, Kaden, uh, answer is not 529. All right, answer is not 529. I think you made a little calculation wrong. All right, answer is 713. Yes, good job. All right, you're not sure how to do the two digit modification. It's okay. It's okay. Answer Victoria 713. Good. Branson 13. I think you missed out the seven in front. I think typo, right? I think you got it. Anish 713. Good. All right, come. Let me explain to you this question. Come. The swimming team in a school bought an equal number of jackets and what? Uh, equal number of jackets and t shirt So, means that what? Oh, every person, right? Because the swimming team needs what? A jacket and a T-shirt, right? You cannot have somebody got T-shirt, then somebody no jacket, what? Not fair, what? Correct, not? The number of swimmers must be, you know, down there. And each swimmer must have a jacket and a T-shirt, correct, not? All right? Answer is 713. Uh, Estelle, good. All right? Uh, Naraja also. All right? So, what is happening? So, everyone, right, must have what? One jacket and one T-shirt. Is that true? That makes sense, right? So that is like team member one. Another member will have one jacket and one t-shirt. Can you see not? Another member will have one jacket and one t-shirt. Can you see not? So in a way, right, the number of jackets and the number of t-shirts must be the same number, must be equal. Can you see? So this is called what? This is called one group. One group inside consists of one jacket and one t-shirt. One group inside consists of one jacket and one t-shirt. And one group inside consists of one jacket and one t-shirt. Can you see? Okay, come. Now, let me look at the clue. Each jacket, oh, one jacket costs $23. Okay, so the jacket down here costs $23. And the t-shirt costs $8. Okay, so down here also, this jacket costs $23. This jacket costs $23. This t-shirt costs $8. This t-shirt costs $8. Okay, so what? Okay, now, the team paid, oh, 184 for the t-shirt only. Hey, 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 look at the clue. This is the clue. The team paid 184 for the t-shirts. For the t-shirts only. A one t-shirt, how much? Ah? One t-shirt is eight dollars, right? One t-shirt is eight dollars. You paid 184 dollars for the t-shirt alone. So how many eight dollars are there inside 184? How many eight dollars are there inside 184? So you take 184 divided by eight. Can you see now? So you do your working law. 184 divided by eight, eight times two, 16. Two, bring down the four. 8 times 3 is a 24. Oh, oh. So there are 23 what? There are 23 sets. Huh? There are 23 groups. There are 23 groups of this. All right? And remember one group got what? One group got one jacket and one t-shirt. One group got one jacket and one t-shirt. Jamaica, $713 is correct. So 184 divided by 8 means what? Eh, you got 23 groups. 23 groups means what? You got 23 t-shirt and also 23 what? Jackets. Can you see not? All right, you must be the same number. Question say, what is the total amount of money spent? Hey, one group is how much? Ah? One group is how much? Ah? One group ah, is $23 is the jacket plus $8, which is the what? Which is the t-shirt. So 28 plus, 23 plus 8 is what? 23 plus 8 is $31, is it? Correct. All right, so one group costs $31. One group costs $31. You got how many groups? Total, you got 23 groups. 23 times 31. Can you see not? I will get the answer. All right, some of you say the HR, uh, I don't know how to do uh, two, two numbers multiplication. Actually, what you do, there's another way of doing. Can I show it to you? All right, then you will have an additional alternative. 30, right? This 30, right, can be written as what? It's like 30 and a plus one. Can you see not? All right, so there are what? There are 30 groups of 23. There are 30 groups of 23. Can we just take 23 times 30 first? 23, don't have to times 30, times 3. 23 times 3 is a what? Down here is a 9, down here is a 6. 69. All right, if there's another 0 behind, right, you just put in another 0. So, we have 690 down here. Okay? Eh, then the 1. The 1 means what? There's 1 of 23. There's 1 of 23. So, it's actually 690 plus another 23. All right, is that true? Is that true? Ah, so if you can look at it that way, right? Also can. Answer is 713, right? Can you see that? Okay, but if you don't understand this method, it's okay. Then you have to learn the two, two, uh, two numbers multiplication like that. 23 times 31. So 1 times 3 is a 3. You start from the right. Huh? 1 times 3 is a 3. Then 1 times 2 is a 2. Down here must put a 0. Next is a 3 times 3 is a 9. 3 times 2 is a 6. Then down here is a plus. 3 plus 0, 9 plus 2. And 6 plus 1. Can you see? So the answer is still $713. Can you see that? 
Ah, okay. Uh, Victoria used another method. Can Victoria use another me method? She take uh one eight four divided by eight, the same step twenty three. Then she take twenty three times twenty three because the what the total jacket is twenty three dollars. What got twenty three twenty three dollars. So she take twenty three times twenty three to get five two nine. Then five two nine. Then she plus back the one eight four to get a t shirt. All right, to get a total of seven one three. Good. Can also can. Can you see? Yeah. So in a way, right, you can have different ways of doing. But I feel that my way of doing is a little bit faster because I find the group. And one group is how much I just times everything myself. All right. All right. I times everything quickly. All right. It's not myself. I times everything quickly. All right. I was looking at Victoria's message. She was talking about myself. <laughs> I learned myself. That's good. All right. Good for you, Victoria. All right. Uh, so can you understand? This question okay, right? Not too tough, right? All right. So question three already. Question three is two minutes, huh? Question three is two minutes. Let's go right now. Okay, two minutes up already. All right. Some of you never get an answer. It's okay, okay. But I can see that you'll keep trying. All right. That part I can see. I, I really can see that. Juby, answer is 16. Good job. All right. The last second you came in with the correct answer. Jamaica, yes, 16 is correct. Ah, uh, yes. All right. So down here, why is it 16? Check this out. Can we look at this question together? All right. Those of you who never get it correct, please take a look. Look at this. Mr. Stan paid $24 on some of the pens. All right, how many pens? I don't know. I'm supposed to look for that. Let's take a look at the promotion. Right, for instance, you go to Popular Bookshop and they say what? Sales! Buy three pens, you get one free. Wow, nice. But this one pen is how much? This one pen is $2. This one pen is $2. This one pen is $2. Is that true? All right. So if you buy three of it, right, it's how much? So it's three times $2. Oh, that means you pay what? You pay $6. Hey! If you pay $6, what do you get? Ah? If you pay $6, you get what? You get this portion, right? This whole thing, right? Because got one free pen. Hey, that means you get four pens, you know. Correct or not? Does this make sense or not? All right. So if you buy three pens, you get one pen free. It means that if you pay $6, you get what? You get four pens. Is that true? This is called one group. So one group, right, will have four pens. Can? One group will have four pens, all right? Because every three pens you buy, you get one pen free. Every three pens you buy, you get one pen free. So one group is four pens. Ah. And, and you only pay how much? You never pay $8, ah. you pay $6. You pay $6 only. Can you see not? Because three pens, one pen, $2. Ah. So two times three is $6, correct right, not? Yes, answer is 16. More, MOE, correct. <laughs> Got it, yes. So happy for you. So three times two is $6. Okay? Hey, she spent $24. So... How many 
six dollars are there in 24? How many six dollars are there in 24? So she spent 24 dollars, right? And one set like that is six dollars. So total is what? Eh, four groups. Ah. Eh, but is that the answer? Wait. One group got how many pens? One group got four pens. Four groups got four times four, 16. Woo! Answer. Juby, understand or not? All right, or is it Julia? Something like that. <laughs> 16 pens. All right, some of you really are very close with it. Your Juby got it. It's not Juby. Uh, Julia. Julia got it or not? All right. Julia, your answer was 18. You did a miscalculation. All right, please check your work. All right, many of you can do it one. All right, most of you got it already. Good job. I'm so happy that most of you got it. Can you see that? All right, and more from don't know, right? You, you keep trying. I can see that you keep trying more. All right, from a lot of wrong answer, you slowly, ah, you got to answer. Feels good, right? Yes, these are a feeling you must try to develop. And how do you develop it? Get more correct answers. Ah. <laughs> can? All right, so must understand the question. Once you understand, it's very easy to do one. Okay, come. Question four. Question four is two minutes, ready? Question four is two minutes, ready? Let's go. Time's up. Two minutes. All right. So again, okay not. Not too bad, right? Uh, seven is wrong. Try again. All right. Okay. Now, now you listen to me. Now you listen to me. Those of you, right, actually started off with don't know, don't know. Now you get a lot of correct. Wow. I tell you, you're getting very good at every single stage. All right. Keep up the good work. All right. All right. For those who are still a little bit lost, it's okay. So if you're lost, do what? Draw, draw. Trust me. Look. The cost of six files and 10 markers is equal to four storybook. So I draw this. I, I draw this to calm myself down. All right, six files. Ah. All right, so files, one, two, three. All right, three files, one, two, three. Total, six files. Six files, Estelle, six is correct. Good job. All right, so six files and 10 markers. 10 markers are M for markers, Ken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you see that? So I have six files and 10 markers. Six files and ten markers is equal to is equal to what? Is equal to four storybooks. Ah. Oh, I can exchange for four storybooks. One, two, three, four. Can you see that? So if you do a comparison, right? If you do a comparison, right, Jamaica, answer is six. Good job. All right, if you do a comparison, can you see something? Can you see that if I cut into half, right? Can I see that this portion? Right? Can I say that six of this? Sorry, not six of it. Three files, all right, and five of this is the same as two storybook. Can or not? Can you see that they are, they are fair? Can you see the circle? Can you see that this one, three files and five markers is the same as two storybook? Can you see? If you can see this comparison, very easy already. All right, if you can see that this one and this one is the same, this one and this one is the same, what can you do? Can you see that 
another three files and another five markers, all right, will mean what? This will mean another what? This will mean another two storybook. Correct or not? Correct or not? So now, what do you do? Question is looking for nine files. Eh? Look, got nine files or not? You count. You count. Got nine files or not? The whole thing here. All right, got nine files or not? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got, got, got nine files. Got 15 storybooks or not? Got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Got, got, got. Equal to how many storybooks? Yeah? Answer is 6. No? Oh. Can you see? <laughs> so, okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right. But you want to show your teacher some working, right? So, maybe you show some working to your teacher, right? You tell your teacher, all right? Three files. Three files and what? Five markers. Can exchange for what? All right. It's the same as? All right, two storybook. Cannot. Then you just show your teacher nine files. Don't have to draw like if you don't want to draw. All right, but as I say, when you draw right, it actually comes yourself down. It's the same as ah. Uh, then down here you show the working. You show two times three, which is six books. Can <laughs> easy right? Not too bad. All right. Yes, you be your one storybook off, but you must understand why is it one storybook off lah. All right. I say six, not uh seven. All right. Can you see not? So it's not difficult. So sometimes, as I say, like, if you don't know, draw lah, really. Some of you are just lazy of drawing even. You just want to get the answer quickly. But in midst of doing that, what happens? You make a lot of careless mistakes. So be careful. You want the right answer. You want it in the fastest time. Alright? So how? You have to think of a way. Draw. Alright, so the next question. Last question. Question 5. 3 minutes. Question 5 is 3 minutes. Are you ready? Question 5 is 3 minutes. This one a little bit challenging, ah, but it's still about grouping. Question five is three minutes. Are you ready? Let's go now.
Okay, that's three minutes. That's three minutes. All right. Um, can I say something? All right. Some of the students, right, when you say uh, you don't know, then I say try again. So please try again. All right. I see students like Juby. I tell you, I tell her to try again at least five times. She keep trying, you know. That means she, she, she never gives up. Always have this attitude of never giving up. Juby, good job. All right. Don't just say, I don't know. I can't. If you tell yourself, I don't know, right, you are telling your brain to shut off. Don't care. Is that about math? Is that about your normal uh, life or so? All right? It's not. Uh, don't just say, I don't know. If you don't know, go and find out. Go and keep trying to get to the, to be a better, your, uh, to be a better self, really. All right? If you say, I don't know, simply means that what? You're telling your brain to shut off. Don't think really. Don't think. Don't think. Then like that, uh, how are you going to learn? Can you see or not? So you keep trying. All right? Eventually, you will better understand. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's like that, you know. Now I know. All right, so don't give up. Don't just say, I can't, I can't. You can. Tell yourself that. Can? All right. So, so now, even though at this moment, right, nobody, of, nobody got the answer. Even Juby, she tried so many times, she never get the answer. But it feels good that she's actually trying. She, now she's still trying, can you see not? She still don't want to give up. That's, that's the spirit. All right, that's the attitude. Hey, okay, come. As I say already, this question is a little bit difficult. It's not 35. All right. Now, just listen to me, can? All right, listen to me. Let me guide you. So down here, the pupils of class 4B were selling vouchers for the school carnival. Means I got some fun fair going on, something like that. Can? Okay, then what happened? They, they received two star. They received two star token for every voucher. So, so if I have one voucher, I will receive what? All right, I will receive two stars. Can not? And down here, there's something called the what? For every 10 vouchers. Means that you have to group them in 10 vouchers. Uh, for every 10 vouchers, look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I manage to sell what? Right, if I manage to sell a group of ten vouchers, this is called one group. Ah, uh. can you take a look at this? Right. If I sell one group of ten vouchers and ten vouchers, right? One voucher is what? Two token, two token, two token, two token, two token. This one also get two token, two token, two token two token and two token. All right. If I do that, what happened? Hey, I get a bonus. Bonus means what? I get an extra, extra what? 15 star token. So down here, right, I get an extra of 15 star. I get an extra bonus of what? 15 stars. Woo! So inside one group consists of how many stars? Inside one group consists of how many stars? All right. There is what? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times 2 is 20 stars. Eh? But because I sell them in groups of 10, right? I get a bonus of 15 stars. So down here, I got 15 stars. So what's my total for one group like that? What's the total? So the total will be equivalent to 20 plus 15 to give me a what? 35 stars. Is that okay? Okay, so one group, uh, if you sell one group, got 10 vouchers. One group, 10 vouchers, 35 stars. All right, 65 and 60 is not the right answer. Let's move on. Okay, so one group got 10 vouchers and these 10 vouchers will give you 35 stars. Okay, so in the end, I receive 181 star. Hey, so inside 181, how many 35 are there? Huh, must do division. Uh. How? Don't panic. Come. All right, don't panic. So you are supposed to ask yourself, inside 181, how many 35 are there? So actually, you can do something called writing out the 35 times table. So 35, 35 plus 35 is a 70. 70 plus 35 is a 105. 105 plus 35 is a 140. You can find a way. Right? Don't just say, ah, teacher, the number so big, division by two numbers, I cannot. Again, you are telling yourself you cannot. Find a way, it's okay. After 140 plus 35 is 175. After 175 is what? Uh, 210. Eh? So down here, 175 is the nearest, right? 175 is the nearest to 181. All right? So down here, 181 divided by 35. What do you get? This is like the one time table, two time table, three time table, four time table, five time table. So 35 times 5 will give you a what? 175. All right? 35 times 5 will give you a 175. Because I list out the 35 time table, it's okay. So down here, what do I have as a remainder? Uh, 175 count up is what? 6. Remainder 6. 
Can you see? Alright, so the answer is five what? Five groups. Five groups, remainder six. Five groups, remainder six. This is the answer. Eh, but, 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 how many vouchers are we talking about? Look, one group got how many vouchers? One group got 35 vouchers. One group got 35 vouchers. Five groups, eh? So five groups, you must take five times 35. Five times 35 will give you a what? All right. Five times 35 will give you a, no, no, sorry. One group got 10 vouchers. Sorry, I, I miscalculated. All right. So this one group, right, got 10 vouchers. Okay, let me write it down. So if there's five groups, right, it will be five times what? Five times 10 will be 50 vouchers. All right. You got 50 vouchers. Very good. Somebody got 53. Already. Good job. Good job. All right, so five times 10, you got 50 vouchers already. Eh? But the remaining six, the remaining six is what? This remaining six is six stars. All right, this remaining six is remaining six stars. And six stars comes from where? Remember, one voucher, two star. One voucher, two star. One voucher, two star. Yes, Kelvin, Estelle, correct already. So six divided by two will give you three, what? three vouchers. So total, how many vouchers are we talking about? We are talking about 50 plus 3, which is 53 vouchers. Can you see or not? Many of you are just frightened of the division of two-digit number. All right. Yes, 53 is correct. All right, Adhat. So can you understand? Or not? So the question, right, will not always be like question 1, 2, and 3. They will change a little bit. When they change, you must be able to adapt accordingly. Can you see? Never give up. You can do it one. Can? All right. So if you don't know how to divide by two numbers, just list it out. Don't worry. It's very close by. It's not going to be huge. It's not going to be scary. Okay? All right. And that's it for your question five. Okay? And actually, there's one more question. There's one more question. A very fast one. This one we do together. Huh? All right. Next question. Let's do together. Okay? Very simple. Question is talking about what? This is one of the questions sent to me, to me by a student. All right? A P4 student. All right? So down here, they are saying, uh, which of the shapes A, B, and C are rectangles? Look. They say that they are rectangles, right? Not drawn to scale. Complete the table by putting a tick in the box that best describes the shapes given. Okay? So let's look at, look, look, at, look at the first one. Shapes A, B, and C each have two pairs of parallel lines. Correct. Because a rectangle, right? A rectangle definitely got what? Two pairs of parallel lines. All right? So this is like one pair. This is like the second pair. So all rectangles got two pairs of parallel lines. That is correct. So true. So all three of them are rectangles. Question did say. So it's a true statement. They say shapes A, B, and C each have four right angles. Correct. All right. Because right, a rectangle right definitely got four right angles. All right. So this one is definitely correct. Okay. Hey, but the last one, the last one, the last one. Look. All sides of B are equal. Hey, is this a square? Is this a square? The question never say. It can be a rectangle. The question never say. The question never give this stroke. The question never give that. So how can you say that it's a square? So again, we don't know. We don't know means what? Not possible to tell. All right? They say all sides of B are equal. Again, I don't know. It's not possible to tell. It's not false. It may be true. Sally. It may be true, but I don't know. Question never say. Can you see not? So it looks like, but again, question never say better not. Oh, better say what? Not possible to tell. Can you see not? So it's true, true, not possible to tell. Okay? So once again, right, if you have question you want to send, right, to discuss during a lesson, right, can you please send in? All right? Uh, they say that A, B, C are rectangles. Sally, I understand your, your argument. Do you know that a square is a rectangle? <laughs> a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Go and reflect on this statement. A square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. All right, so Estelle and Selin, this type of question, right, you must understand that a square is considered a rectangle, all right, because what's the meaning of a rectangle? A rectangle means that you must have four 90 degrees and two pairs of parallel lines. That makes a rectangle. Really. A square is actually a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. All right, okay, so down here, right, uh, yeah, a square is a rectangle. A rectangle is, oh, yeah, correct. That's, that's correct, Victoria. All right, that's good. All right, so hopefully you can understand this. And as I say, right, if you've got questions, right, please do send it to me. All right, uh, this WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp me at this number or you can email me. Is that okay? Okay, now, how do you print? Uh? How do you print? 
All right, so I have actually make it black and white for you already. So there's no color. So this portion, right, you can actually print it out in black and white. So you don't have to print the color. You can actually print it out again to what to try. All right, to try the question all again without what without looking at your own answers. Okay. So after you download this worksheet, right, which is in uh, two days time, we will upload it right into our website. You can actually look at it as a PDF. PDF is like a, a format, like a file format. So when you enter it, what happened? They will ask you whether you want to print or not. Yes, you can print in terms of PDF. So when you click print, right, what happened? You print from pages what, 15 to 27. Click on the save ink. Click on the two pages for multiple. Click on the what, landscape here and print on both sides. So you will see that on a piece of paper, there will be two slides like that. Can you see? All right, so this is all available for you. So just give us time to upload this worksheet into the, uh, our website. Okay? If you don't have a printer, don't worry about it. All right, you can go and watch the video over and over again all right, to better understand. Okay? And please do start sending me some of your questions. All right, if not, then you will say that the questions, all this, all this you have done in your computer aided assessment already. All right, so if you want, do send in some of your questions to me and we'll discuss it in, in the live lesson. Cool. All right, I'll see you in our next lesson. Our next lesson is uh, next Thursday at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, huh? so please remember that. Okay. All right, so for the P5 and P6, quickly go for your uh, science lesson. All right, and P3, P4, if you want, go and join also. Lah, huh? Go and see what Dr. Ali is teaching. All right, so in the meantime, do take care and be safe. All right, be good. Don't be naughty. Bye-bye.